Welcome back to The Pitch. It is our very first episode, the comeback episode, and it's quite fitting that we have the man making his comeback for Adelaide United. Issa is here. You ready to answer some questions, my friend? Thank you. Thank you. I'm ready. Okay. These are all on social media. I haven't looked at these yet, so uh, they should be very interesting. Here we go. Hader Huxain on Instagram. How did you get into football? Wait, that's what you can you repeat, please? Yeah. How did you get into football? When, like, how did you start playing? I start football when I was six years old, six or seven. Uh, I think, it, and I start because I love the game. I already play in my school, and I play with my friends every single day. Or on the streets and on the in the parks, and uh, yeah, my dad is a big fan, and he was a footballer. And uh, uh, he, uh, as soon as he got the chance to 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 bring me a club to in a club to start playing football, uh, he he bring me a club, and uh, yes, I start with six seven years old. Uh, Christian two five two double oh seven. Might be James Bond double oh seven. Maybe. Maybe probably not. Um, <laughs> what was the relief? When we won the grand final in fifteen sixteen, how were, how were your feelings? It was an amazing feeling. Uh, it was more happiness, no relief. Um, it, was, it, it was more like a, yes, we did it, something so special. But yes, I don't I don't feel like a, it was a relief. It was more like a happiness moment and uh, that we did something so special uh, in a very difficult season for us. And yes. Was a big and amazing feeling. Alex Polacci on Instagram. Out of all the goals you've scored, which one has been your favourite? The grand final one. Mm. That's very easy. Yeah, you've scored some good goals though. You scored some great goals at Cooper Stadium. Yeah, but that one in was a was a beauty. Mm. And it was a beauty. You're so Aussie. <laughs> <laughs> and was so special. It was so special. <laughs> Do you remember? When Pablo Sanchez, at the same time he scored a goal, he also did his hamstring. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I think it was against Wellington. Against Wellington, Wellington yeah. 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 Yes, and yes, yes. he still wanted to get up for the yeah, celebration, yeah. but he's done yeah. his hamstring. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Um, okay, so Wolven Barry on Facebook. Are the players affected by the sometimes negative social media comments? about the makeup of the squad. So I'll try and help you out. People on social media sometimes say bad things about our team because they don't think we've got good enough players or big enough names. Are the players affected or are you confident with the squad? I don't think so. I don't think uh, we pay attention to this kind of uh, comments from, from from people outside of our uh, zone. I think we know... Uh, how strong our squad is and now is the time for us to show that if we are ready or, no, or not. Okay, so let's put two questions together from Kichyom on Instagram and also, I'm trying here. I see. <laughs> and also here, um, Harry Scobie 4. So who's the toughest A-League men player you have played against and also who is your toughest ever opponent in any team? Um, for me, the most difficult uh, to play against in A-League was uh, Aaron Moy. Mm-hmm. For me, my, my favourite player. is top, top level. I like how, how he plays, how he reads the game, how he uses the both legs. It's my favourite player. And it's very, very difficult to play against him. Mm. And it's a very nice challenge when I, when I used to play against him. And... In my whole career, probably Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, probably they were the most talented players I played against. Or oh. Iniesta, maybe Iniesta. What? Because Messi... <laughs> because Messi... What Christian. a massive name drop, just oh. three of them. Oh, I mean, Ronaldo or Messi or... No, nah, Iniesta was pretty tough. I was thinking, you're going to say, oh, you know, when Stefan Mork moved to Brisbane, he was really tough, but you're still... No, yeah, I yeah. love that. That's yeah, the best. Yeah. Okay, next question. Oh, sorry, I just <laughs> got a little bit flustered here in my hard hat. Okay, um, Luca Toponliak on Instagram. Will you stay in Adelaide when you retire? Uh, I hope. That's the idea. Um, I hope once I finish my football career, uh, I can stay here for a long time and I can raise my kids here. 
uh, but also it depends the opportunities I have uh, to keep involved in football. Uh, obviously, I would like to to keep involved in football somehow. I don't know in which role, but I would like to be involved in football, and hopefully, I can I can do it here in Adelaide. Spiros Dimas on Facebook. What did you learn in Qatar that will help you in Adelaide? Yeah, no, I learned a lot of different things. Uh, obviously, obviously, I get uh, the best parts of my difficult situation uh, overseas. I, I had a, a few difficult situations being overseas, and uh, I tried to learn and improve and to grow. Uh, with these, these difficult situations and I hope I can use them here in Adelaide. Uh, Jared Walsh from uh, Semaphore wanted to know, um, <laughs> did you change your number to the number 10 so you could sell more shirts and there would be more <laughs> SASs at Cooper Stadium instead of people wearing their old shirt? No, no, no <laughs> chance, no chance. No, uh, Look, I, I, I love uh, the number eight. I, I would love to wear the, the number eight. It's the, <clears throat> it's the most special number for me, and uh, it's the number that I wear the most years in my career. But uh, this is part of football. Uh, I move overseas, and I think Rally Magri took the number eight. Now Stefan Mock have the number eight. So when I came back, it was already taken. And I need to, to choose another number, and uh, it wasn't many options available. Mm. Uh, I was really thinking to wear number 88. Like Neil Kilkenny. Yeah, 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 I was thinking about, but uh, yes, I'm old school style. I don't mm. like these kind of weird numbers, and I took the, <laughs> the number 10. When you think about it, though, this is the second time you've played for Adelaide United, yeah. and 10 minus 2 is 8. That's it. So you're technically... Give me some of that. Ah. Uh, some of your other questions on social media have been answered already in um, this episode of The Pitch. So thank you very much for asking. And there's one more thing you have to do, Issa. So you can see right here we have the brand new You Can Home shirt. I mean, don't worry, we're going to fix the logo up with the new one. That's certainly going to happen. Um, but every person that uh, comes on The Pitch is going to sign it. We'll give that away at the end of the season. So can you please sign that for us? Yes. I think you go for it. Where? Well, you can sign it anywhere you like. You get to do this first. So, good luck. Don't forget the uh, shirts are available in the club store and online. We've got the red one. We've got the uh, dark blue one or the navy one. And, of course, the coral one I'm wearing now. This one's going to go very quickly. There you go. Issa, you have been absolutely amazing. Thank you once again for being on the pitch. Thank you. Thank you very much. My pleasure.